Hi guys, welcome back to Jay's Charlotte Adventures channel. So, by popular request, um, what I'm going to do is is to do um, a lesson um, on um, British slang. So we're going to have a look at some British slang idioms in this class. Um, so yeah, um, I covered some like idioms um, the last couple of lessons, but I think um, this one is going to sound really interesting. So this one is called Talk Like a Scouser. So this is what we call your guide to the Liverpool British English accent. Okay, let's have a go. So basically, um, so Scouse English is primarily spoken in the Merseyside area of England. So for me, I come from the Midlands in the middle, and the uh, Merseyside is a bit further sort of north like that. Um, so the Scouse accent is highly distinctive and has little in common with those used in neighbouring regions of Cheshire and Lancashire. A nickname for someone from this area is simply called a scouser. And this is pronounced scouser as in well. <laughs> um, so, um, so that's basically a nutshell really. So that's how you pronounce it, scouser. It's, kind of, it's interesting actually. Um, so let's have a... A look further down. So, okay. So I'm going to go over um some selection of words which are associated with Scouse English, but um like um at the young um like basically any other English dialect, there is some overlap with some others as well. So, okay. So let's go through a few. So we have, and off. So this is someone else's poor fortune. Ange on a mo. Hmm, interesting. Not really heard of that myself. But this is called please wait a moment. Yeah, I haven't really heard that very often, but as for slang, it's it's almost a different language really. Have off. Yeah. So have off is actually quite common. Um, obviously, in the pure English, we'd say how off with a H, but because it's Liverpoolian slang, we'd say how off. Yeah, it's, it, I would advise it in personally um, dealing with business English, but in terms of your skills, um, it is okay, common casual conversation. And this is a spot of improvised good fortune. Okay, so we have RA. <laughs> Another funny one, this is called Oh No. And that's what that means, oh no. Um, okay, all the fella. So these are almost nouns, but they're not. So this is this is meaning father. We have old bag. Yeah. It's similar actually. We would so basically the West the other counties would say kind of like old bag, pretty much. But the way it's spelled is A U L D B A I G. We pronounce it old bag, which is similar but obviously different spelling to the other counties of England. So, and this is meaning old woman, and that's the pronoun old bag basically. Okay, so we have another slang expression. This is called as if. It's not. It's not spelt with a s. This is spelt with a z, as if. And so when we hear this, this means I don't believe it. Okay, we have next, bail, which is spelt b b a i l, and this means go away. Then we have butte. Okay. So I used to, I actually heard this um obviously in the past. Um I actually before I started teaching, before I did the whole study anything, um I actually originally thought this actually um meant, you know, looking after somebody or husband, something like that, but um but yeah, obviously as years rolled on, um, you know, 
um, actually got a better understanding of this. It's actually quite interesting. Uh, so we'd say Butte is an idiot. Um, and a better Butte, that means an extreme idiot. So, yeah. It puts some clarification, actually. It puts some new meanings into uh, perhaps some other, um, not, I suppose, um, descriptions of other um, idioms that you know other people have mentioned in books and articles. Um, Butte describes something else, but here it's called an idiot. So, okay, so we have bevied up, and this means drunk. Obviously, bevied up means that person's had a lot to drink. So, um, so yeah, basically that's what that means. Okay, on to the next one. So we have a bevy, which is a beer. Okay, how we have a bifter, um, which obviously is joined, uh, obviously, a form of smoking character, basically. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so we have then black, which is, which means a lie. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have some interesting ones coming up. Okay. So we have next, let's do another one. Blurt, a lightweight, usually from down south. So, lightweight. I'm thinking it's to do with drinking. They're lightweight, they don't drink very much. I'm assuming that, but because I'm not a scouter, um, yeah, the vocab is really different from actually the vocab down south. So. Um, case, we have uh, boss. Okay. Very, this means very good. So obviously in conversation we'd say let's boss it. So yeah, it means very good. Okay, a butty. Okay, so butty is actually a vocab word used everywhere. So butty, especially in the Midlands, it's also a slang word used in the Midlands as well. It means a sandwich. You know, we could put something like, um, you know, eggs, bacon, a cheese, butty, something like that. Um, it's not the word I you would use in conversation, but obviously with Midland slang or Liverpoolian slang, um, but uh, it's what we use. Yeah. Now yeah, sorry guys. Uh, bit bit sort of bit of sneezing. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so we have clobber. Um, obviously this means close. So clobber is obviously. Can be used to describe a lot of clothes. Okay. Okay, so where are we? Halfway through. So we have okay. So um I'm gonna now talk about a few which are actually quite common <coughs> scouts expressions now because I actually visited um I visited Cumbria actually in the last the last few days, so and some of these I actually heard actually talked about them myself actually, um so yeah because the accents I was from, I was with they sounded quite appropriate really, um so we have defo which means definitely almost an abbreviation almost, divvy which is one I use in Cumbria is called a stupid person, um yeah I use divvy because. Um, yeah, I actually burnt my finger like twice on the hot plate, so I said, I'm a divvy. So, <laughs> yeah, just trying to fit in with the crowd then. Um, okay, so we have quite a informal tone here, quite a harsh tone. We have another word called do one. This means go away. So when you say do one, it's actually, it's actually, um, vocalized really really sharp so do one quite forceful I'm gonna I'm not gonna do the forceful tone here but yeah that's what that means okay so we have uh, let's see um, okay okay um, but some of these I'm not gonna read out for YouTube because they're actually quite um, uh, yeah not appropriate but um, yeah, I will talk just a few more. So we have knockoff, which means stolen goods. Um, lid, which means see you later. Okay, made up, I'm very happy about something. Okay, um, no need, an exclam exclamation of disapproval. 
Okay. Oh, so I'm just scrolling through one of my my, my lessons at the moment. Um, so I'll try and put some of these into subtitles during the, during the video if I can. So, um, yeah, I'm just sort of reading them back to myself at the moment. So I'll obviously read them out to you as well. So, um, so we have let's see, um, scratch. Okay. Um, so in Scouser language, this is called signing onto the doll or that any down south we just say signing onto the doll. Okay. Whoa, quite impressed with some of these uh, words actually. Um we have one called soz, which is sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean sorry. Um okay, so let's see. Hmm. Okay. Uh telling ye. So that means emphasizing agreement. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have just one more I'm gonna do. When we say you what, that means pardon. And that's the last word I'm gonna do for this one. I hope you found those quite interesting. Some of those um they some of the words um that were on the um, article um I can't obviously read them out because um yeah, because the YouTube guidelines, vice versa. So yeah, it's not really appropriate. So sorry. Um. Okay. So yeah, that is basically uh the end of that uh, class really. Um. Okay. So, um. So yeah, basically. Um. You know. Uh, that is um probably a mixture. Um, of obviously the slang vocab to use, um, Scouseland, Liverpoolian, the area. Um, the accents with this language will be, um, quite sharp, quite harsh. I can't do a Liverpoolian accent myself, but that's what it sounds like. Um, yeah, it is quite what. Well, um so yeah that's the best way of describing that um let's see i'm just trying to look at the more i can do for you um okay so yeah so it might actually be interesting to know that the pole is obviously where the beatles came from as well so yeah that's sort of this bit of fact finding so okay so um so obviously there are lots of resources um obviously online uh, to access this sort of material but um but yeah so i hope you found those quite interesting and i shall be working on some more um english classes um in the coming days um so yeah <coughs> if you have any ideas about what you'd like to see or maybe hear um uh, pops pop your um comments uh, down here, obviously in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> um, I'll be working on obviously more um idioms, phrases, um, as much as I can think of really. And then yeah, go through the teacher library. I've got things. I've got everything from business classes. Um, yeah, TEFL classes, um, a big range really. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, and you're listening to the class. And uh, I'll speak to you again. I'll, I shall see you shortly.